So this is escalating big time, man. The scholars are baffled, and for days now, they have been baffled, and nobody knew what was going on. We had allegations after allegations, but today we got Tim the Tatman reacting, we got Nick Merx reacting, we also got Jess Corden. People are asking for his permanent ban as well. Yeah, Charlie, most critical, Penguin Z responding, we got Mudahar responding, Ludwig, everybody's covering this story because this is by far one of the one of those stories it has been bigger than the question of are we alone in the universe or not everybody want to know right like what happened what happened what happened and, and apparently dr disrespect has actually came forward and he did say that he was messaging a minor inappropriately oh, shit. today he did say that then he edited out the statement but people were really really quick people had twitter finger pro right so people took screenshots the cameramen were on the scene brothers saying please say psych i mean it, it, everybody's shocked right now the cameraman caught it i want to actually show you a bunch of stuff in this one like this video if you like it subscribe if you're brand new dislike if you dislike it but uh this is what tim the tatman said roll it wow this is absolutely insane bro everything I'm seeing. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years and um, seeing everything it. that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally and I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. Damn. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate yeah if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent i cannot support that yeah, okay. understandable. Yeah, totally understandable. And the question that a lot of people are bringing up, and you guys are bringing up as well, which I think is fair, is that did Doc knew about the age of the minor? Did he know if she was a minor? Because if if he knew he was a minor and he still went ahead and started messaging inappropriately, yeah, that that's when you draw the line. Yeah, right. Uh, and that's the thing he did not say. And this is what Nick Merck said. Roll it. Yo, yo, checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter, and uh, I read through Doc's tweet, and in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl, and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, uh, it, that's, that's inexcusable, it's unacceptable, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There's no excuse for something like that, and, and I can't support it. Hang on, honey doing this I'm talking to twitter i can't support it i can't defend it and uh look the boys and i are torn up over it too man because we played a lot of games with the guy and, and it feels a little weird but uh but basically dr disrespect's name is guy so that's that's what he's trying to say uh because uh, a lot of people are also criticizing him for the way he said it like people are like hey wait what, what? like he's your buddy man like say the name right his name is guy beam so what can you do you know so i just want to update yeah. you guys on, on my thoughts and how i'm feeling yeah and right after this one mudahar also yeah check this and then i gotta play you this video as well it, it's crazy man everybody's covering the story and this uh, has been a massive disaster in game now did dr disrespect speak to a minor yeah according to him he did <laughs> Let's actually read this, by the way, too, because I, I, I'm actually disgusted reading it. Like, I know that I'm making jokes right now, but the reason I'm making this video is not because this is an allegation. This is an actual yeah. serious, disgusting situation where I truly believe this scumbag needs to be banned off of the platforms oh, that he's shit. on. Because I consider him to be a danger to people that are minors. So let's read this. Yeah. Hello, I'd like to make a quick- And, and this is Doc's response, but check this out. I want to play you this. And uh, before I play you this, apparently Jess Corden comes out says that Dr. Disrespect will lose everything. And now serious questions need to be asked about how Twitch handled this and yet employees. What about the minor in question? Were parents or law enforcement agencies notified? Forcing employees to conceal this for X years is crazy. Basically, what we're finding out is that this information has been concealed for approximately seven years. So, this happened. Basically, Doc was messaging, 
right, he acknowledged it, he admitted it, so now it's no longer uh, an allegation. Prior to this, yep, people were asking for proof, even I was asking for proof, that's like a rational thing to do, but now he admitted, he admitted, right? So, yeah, seven years ago, back in 2017, he was messaging. 2020 is when he got banned by Twitch, and 2022, he wins the lawsuit uh, against and uh, against Twitch, and apparently the reason he won the lawsuit is apparently be because Twitch was, uh, like, spying on everybody's messages, uh, and he was using Twitch whispers, which is, which is a way to personal message, DM people on Twitch, right? So, yeah, they were spying, and it, the, the odd thing is that how did it take them three years that that's the, the 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 most bizarre thing right but apparently that happened and surely there's also people are people are also bringing up the woke mafia was also behind it and twitch staff didn't like dr disrespect because of his stances because he agreed with nick Merix. uh but but this you guys gotta understand that this happened before you know back in 2020 not necessarily like last year or anything like that but of course that, that they made the information public the the twitch ex-employee he made the information public this week and the entire reason is that they didn't like the fact that th that dr disrespect was against the woke mob the woke mob the woke mafia so they clearly hated him right so there's that aspect to it as well now the only thing is that you, you cannot defend dr disrespect's behavior on this one but people are uh, generally bringing up hey we want to know like what was the age of the victim the leak document says 17 years but you guys gotta understand that that's a rumor we don't really really know another fair question here is that before i play you this clip is that did doc know about the age or not right but it's very clear the woke mafia is after him yeah i absolutely agree with you but here's the thing though doc himself also admitted to these allegations so and now it's no longer a rumor now it's no longer he said he said uh, she said situation doc acknowledge it right Prior to this, it was just the woke mafia get going after him, and it's still true. They are after him. They want him banned. They want him gone. That is absolutely true. But this time, you guys gotta understand that Doc himself is actually admitting to it, right? So you cannot defend Doc on this one. The only fair question is that did Doc know about the edge? If he know and he still proceeded you cannot defend doc right but if you didn't know then that's a different story altogether and it's also very fair to uh ask for the chat logs uh basically what did uh doc was saying in it right was it edgy was it just a meme uh even if it's a meme like you know what i mean right like doc he was 35 years old at that point and messaging somebody half his age uh 17 years old is what we're figuring out right now still not not correct not right to do but you guys gotta understand that yeah we do not know what he was messaging but doc himself says he was messaging inappropriately but he also did say his intentions were not uh, malicious uh, intentions behind these messages were you know were not bad the answer is absolutely not he said the intentions were not bad that's what doc is saying so believe what you want to believe but check this wait for this one roll it yesterday i made a video about the alleged reason why dr disrespect was banned off of twitch and today we have a major update because we know the actual reason and not because of some third party report or a whistleblower on twitter or a news article we know it because we're hearing it from the man himself. The yeah, doc has yeah, dropped yeah, 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 a huge tweet about the Twitch ban. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out yesterday's video. But the skinny is that there's a former Twitch employee yeah. who tweeted out the reason Doc got banned is because he got caught sexing a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. Which still exists, by the way, Twitch Whispers. I mean, no one uses it, but it, it still is around. So I don't know why it's yeah, then existing. Yeah. It's still existing, but you get the idea. Anyway, this is the doc's tweet. It is massive. All right. So I'm going to paraphrase yeah, parts crazy, of it, but bro. it starts out by saying, hey, let's cut the fucking bull. Yeah, we're, we're going to just skip this part off it. I'm assuming like all of you guys have read it, but this is important. Check this. Talking to a minor when I was clarifying it, he was 35 years old. Crazy. Uh, now let's break down this very long tweet because there are a few things that, that first off, are worth noting. The first one is that he edited this tweet. I read yeah. you the original version, but for a brief period, about 10 minutes or so, he edited the tweet, which is a feature you can do when you have uh, Twitter blue or X blue, the everything. Yeah, that, that's a sin on Twitter. You, you should not, yeah, you cannot do that on Twitter. That's a massive sin, according to Twitter detectives. And he said, uh, no, uh, uh, he changed it from where were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor to were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual. He removed the word minor. 
and then brought it back because everyone saw that he removed the word minor. This is yeah, bro could have like deleted the tweet right and put it up, uh, put it up again. Not saying that he should have done that, but but like you know what I mean, right? Like people are saying that, bro, like you could have actually re. re Start, retweeted that instead of like editing out but even if you edit people know what you said so he got caught in 4k in that aspect it's all tracked by the way you can see all this on twitter this is this is verifiable uh so that was just that's weird it's like a horrible optic mistake and failure uh but but that's not really what worth noting i yeah. think what's worth noting uh -oh. are some of the things uh -oh. in the statement that i find to be maybe a bit uh odd okay um the first one is that he says i've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything i can be one thing that I find weird is that right around the time Doc got banned, uh, which was June 24th, Crazy. or 6th, I think June 26th he got banned in 2020, he was very adamant that he did not know why he got banned. Mm. He kept saying, I don't know why I got banned. Yeah. And he said that for, for months. It wasn't until almost a full year later that he said he actually knew the reason why he got banned. I think that was a lie. Okay, I think... Okay. I think that Doc knew the reason why he was banned. Fair. Uh, he might not have thought that it conflicted with his contract. Like the co the conversations weren't necessarily a breach of contract, so he doesn't know why they went with the decision to ban him. But I think he knows why they did it. Because right after that, he pursued a legal lawsuit against Twitch, and he won. That's also another point. And people that are defending Doc in this one, which is fair. Like, I want to cover both sides in this one, and ge uh, genuinely... We do not know what he was messaging, and genuinely, the the real uh, I I yeah, this is where I'm at, right? The real question. It's inexcusable. Make no mistake, right? Leave the kids alone. Absolutely. Like the video if you're if you're with leave the kids alone. Dislike if not. I, yeah, like some people are not absolutely crazy to me. But but here's the thing. The genuine question in this one is that did Doc know about the age or not? That's that's a fair question. A lot of people are asking that question as well. And, and also the thing is that three years, bro. So he messaged all the way back in 2017, gets banned in 2020, three years later, and Doc, to uh, his credit, he came after that and he did say that, yeah, now I know the reason. Uh, uh, I believe he came out in 2021, if I'm not mistaken, a year after, or and in 2022, a year after that, so 2020 he gets banned, 2022 he wins the lawsuit against Twitch, and two years after, here, here, here now in 2024, this gets leaked out! This gets leaked out! And everybody's baffled right now, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't necessarily breach, but he knows why they were doing it, even if it didn't breach. Uh, so that's one thing that I find a little bit weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. next part is is uh, this. The Midnight Society Game Studio. Oh, He says yeah. here oh, that man. a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened uh, yesterday with Midnight Society and I. We made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Now, the tweet from Midnight Society did not feel like a stepping down. It felt much more like a firing. Because if you read their tweet, it basically said that yeah. uh, after looking at the facts, They're we, terminating. Midnight Society, are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam. Not we are letting Guy Beam step Yeah, down. and apparently if I have this... Yeah, I got it, I got it. So apparently... Uh, Robert Balling, the guy that made Modern Warfare 2022, 2000... Modern Warfare... 2009 not modern warfare 2022 modern warfare 2 back in 2009 robert balling he is working with doc or apparently he used to work because he just uh peaced out right uh he he basically says that if you inappropriately message a minor i cannot work with you period i promise to only act on facts and i did he said so it really really feels like that yeah, they terminated their relationship. It's not that they're parting ways, like uh, like Doctor Disrespect is saying, which is crazy to me because you guys gotta understand that Doc actually is who uh, he founded Midnight Society. He is behind Dead Rob, right? He started everything and got the team together and all that. So Midnight Society, Dead Rob, this game is done for right now, in my honest opinion. I think they're still gonna make it, so I'm not saying it's cancelled in that, but it's cancelled in terms of the Twitter cancel culture, if that makes sense, right? Because Doc is... <laughs> he's no longer around it now, according to this information. Step down, right? They didn't even let him announce that he was leaving, and he also had to end his stream abruptly. And what's more proof is Robert Bowling, who oh, yeah, is, uh, if you guys don't know, the period. We covered that, yeah. This is the head of the studio. That sounds like he did not want to work with Doc based off the information he saw and the facts that he saw, which I think Crazy. is a very uh, yeah. tough decision that he made and also the fucking right decision. 
uh, yeah. that Robert made. Uh, so so that 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 conflicts to me. There's Man. something I want to talk about though that I feel like not a lot of people are mentioning. How did Twitch know about these messages? Like, how do they know? The most people are assuming, including me yesterday, that, well, it's the Twitch Whispers product. And so you're not secure on that. Twitch might have been, like, reading through or it might have been flagged through some automated system. And then Twitch looked at it and saw it was a partnered streamer. And then... Yeah, but, like, three years later? What? Okay, if it was a thing, like, a week after, understandable. But three years later, crazy. And this is where... This is why I mentioned and people are bringing this up. And we had the leak email and it was mentioned in that whether that's real or not you know what i mean but it's something that is true the woke mafia and twitch did not like dr disrespect okay that is a fact and this is why they it, it, what we're figuring out now this is why they went back to try to dig up something they don't like about him to get him to be canceled and they have been very successful in that uh, but also i'm not defending doc in this one because G uh, come on now right like it's inexcusable it's inexcusable uh, and he was messaging a minor and he himself said uh, he himself said that he was messaging inappropriately Th this is not my opinion this is not anybody's opinion now this is what doc himself said took action but i actually don't think that's the case anymore I think we know the actual reason. I think it's true that you aren't safe messaging on Twitch, Whispers, much like you're not even safe browsing with your internet service provider. True. Did you know that? Stop. I need to think yeah, this. Yeah, 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 he didn't get banned until 2020. What was that three-year gap? Why did it happen? And I think the answer to both of these questions are answered in a Bloomberg article that was dropped earlier this morning. It came about like two hours before the doc's tweet, and it came from a very reliable journalist, Cecilia, who had a couple of undercover sources. I'm going to read this paragraph here. The reason for doc's banishment on Twitch were never given, but three people with knowledge of the matter said that Guy Beam, aka the doc, was removed because he exchanged sexually explicit messages, messages with a minor through the services direct chat feature Twitch Whispers. We know this. He also asked a minor about her plans at the TwitchCon convention. Okay, interesting. According to two of the people who asked not to be identified. And then the final sentence, I think this one's the kicker, Jesus Christ. A complaint was later filed with Twitch through its reporting system, the oh two cents. A complaint was oh, later shit. filed, aka somebody who had intimate knowledge of these messages went to Twitch and said, hey, look at these messages, this is fucked up. Mm. Now we don't know who it is. We can probably assume that it yeah. wasn't the doc saying, hey, I did these messages. Yeah, it was probably the chick, right? The the person that doc was uh, going, trying to be with a few years ago. More likely than not, it was the minor. Maybe after she grew up, after she got a bit older and realized maybe how fucked up that situation was. Or maybe somebody she told about in her life, a parent or somebody that she felt comfortable saying uh, that this happened later on. And it makes a whole lot of sense if that was the case because then that's why they banned him so much after the messages happened. And I think what supports Holy. this further is that- So that's like the official response, but uh, from Bloomberg. So it looks like that Bloomberg got that from Twitch employees, I guess. They spoke with them, okay. Yeah, the unofficial one is that they just didn't like him and they were trying to dig up his past and find something in his past so they, they can like perhaps uh, cancel the guy. That's the unofficial one. And this is the official response. Date that Doc was banned. June 26th, 2020. Which is actually almost four years ago to the day, by the way. Two days before he got banned, June 24th, there was a community update post that Twitch shopped. It said, we, we want to provide to an update on our investigations into the recent allegations of sexual abuse and harassment involving Twitch streamers and actions we're taking. We're reviewing each case that have come to light as quickly as possible while ensuring appropriate due diligence as we assess these serious allegations. Here's the kicker. We prioritize the most severe cases and we will begin issuing permanent suspensions in line with our findings immediately. Two days oh, after shit. this post dropped, the doc was banned. They go on to say that they're going to try to improve their tools so this doesn't happen. They can't... So they were, like, getting ready to ban him, and before they ban him, they were like, okay, let's actually write a policy real quick, right? But still, they ended up getting sued, and Doc won the money. Like, bumble clot right there, bro. ...fix uh, these pervasive issues across gaming in internet communities, but they're going to do their part to be a leader. Being a leader would be banning one of your biggest streamers who has broke your policy or your updated Crazy. policy. Whoa. Okay. So that 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 to me it explains everything. So where does that leave us? 
Well, I think there's still some questions we need answered. Like, mm. did Doc know the age of the person he was yep. talking to when he was talking to them? When he says he didn't meet up with them in person, was that because of his decisions? Or did the minor become uncomfortable? Is she the one who backed out of the situation? And when he says that sometimes he leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, what the fuck that mean? What does that mean? What were the actual content of the messages? But based off the facts, the facts that we- Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, absolutely, right? But Doc, uh, in his statement, if you want to believe that, he said that he was just messaging, his intentions were not bad, but he did message inappropriately, sure. But he did not exchange. He did not exchange any illegal material in terms of like videos or photos or uh, anything like that. That's what Doc said, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, to be objectively true, even the people who are closest to the Doc in his life are separating themselves from him. Right? People like Robert Bowling, the head of the game development studio, who said, "Hey, if you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you." Right? People like Nick Merckx, who went live today to say this. I can't yeah, support it, I can't defend it, and, uh, I... So his word is gonna go on an extended vacation, and when he comes back, we'll continue to make content. At least that's what he said he would do. And unless he were to get deplatformed by YouTube and every other streaming site, he can do that. I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of other YouTubers have done fucked up shit and then just keep making videos. It happens all the time, and I'm sure... Uh, was was the EDP banned? That, that part, I, I don't know. Uh, I did not follow the EDP situation that much, but of course, like, he was all over the news, so I, I know, like, what he did. He was trying to get the, 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 the donut, the, the cupcake, but of course, it was not the cupcake. It was someone else, right? So, so that part I know, but was he deplatformed or, or not? Sure, there's going to be thousands and thousands of loyal fans who continue to watch him even after everything that has come out, even after other people in his life maybe separate themselves from the doc. But if he really wanted to try to clear his name in the court of public opinion, he would probably need to, like, sue the people who said he was sexing a minor and prove in the actual courts... Yeah, like... He, he, and he has to come out and say that I did not know the age at that time, but if that is true, of course, right? If he seriously did not know the age, he needs to talk about it. The chat logs need to be made public so we can see, like, what was going on in the in that. Was it just, like, flirtatious? I guess it was, but that's still going to be inappropriate, absolutely, with a minor. So I'm not defending him. But but still, like, if, did he know? I guess the only thing is that, did he know the age or not? If he did not know the age, he needs to make it public that I did not know the age at that time then it changes the narrative but other than that th this is insane this is insane let me know your thoughts check out this video on the screen because one of his buddy ended up getting caught cheating in a game as well that happened if you've seen it already then check out the video on the left